Astronomers have released the first photograph of our Milky Way galaxy's supermassive black hole. This study gives strong evidence that the object is a black hole and reveals important information about how these enormous objects function, which are believed to be present at the centers of the majority of galaxies. The image was developed by a multinational research team known as the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, utilizing data from a network of radio telescopes located all around the world. A supermassive black hole, known as Sagittarius A, is this object. Although the black hole itself is invisible to humans due to its total darkness, glowing gas surrounding it has a distinctive signature, a bright ring-like structure bordered by a dark center area known as a shadow. The new image shows light being distorted by the black hole's strong gravity, which is four million times more powerful than the sun. These groundbreaking findings have significantly increased our knowledge of what occurs at the galactic nucleus and provide fresh information on how these enormous black holes interact with their environment. Our perception of the black hole's size in the sky is similar to that of a donut on the moon, since it is only approximately 27,000 light years from Earth. The black hole known as M87 in the heart of the farther off Messier 87 galaxy has been captured in its first photograph by astronomers. Even though the black hole in our galaxy is much smaller and less massive than M87, the two black holes seem to be very similar. We have two extremely distinct black hole masses and two very different sorts of galaxies, yet when they are near to one another, they seem quite similar. The gas flowing around the black holes Sagittarius A and M87 moves at the same speed, which is very close to the speed of light. However, Although gas takes days to weeks to circle the bigger M87, it completes an orbit around the much smaller Sagittarius A in only a matter of minutes. This indicates that when the EHE collaboration was monitoring Sagittarius A, the brightness and pattern of the gas were rapidly shifting. The researchers had to create complex new tools that took the movement of gas around Sagittarius A into account. This was not the case with Sagittarius A, but M87 was a simpler, steadier target with roughly identical photos. The team ultimately managed to expose the behemoth hiding at the galactic core of our galaxy for the first time with the Sagittarius a black hole picture, which is an average of the several photos they recovered. The EHC collaboration, which consists of more than 300 researchers from 80 institutions worldwide, was crucial in making the project possible. The team worked tirelessly for five years, using supercomputers to combine and analyze their data. It completes an orbit around the much smaller Sagittarius A in only a matter of minutes. This indicates that when the EHC collaboration was monitoring Sagittarius A, the brightness and pattern of the gas were rapidly shifting. The researchers had to create complex new tools that took the movement of gas around Sagittarius A into account. This was not the case with Sagittarius A, but M87 was a simpler, steadier target with roughly identical photos. The team ultimately managed to expose the behemoth hiding at the galactic core of our galaxy for the first time with the Sagittarius A black hole picture, which is an average of the several photos they recovered. The EHD collaboration, which consists of more than 300 researchers from 80 institutions worldwide, was crucial in making the project possible. The team worked tirelessly for five years, using supercomputers to combine and analyze their data, while building an incredible library of simulated black holes to compare with the observations. This was done in addition to developing advanced tools to overcome the difficulties of imaging Sagittarius A. The ability to compare and contrast two black holes of quite different diameters has scientists very enthusiastic about the arrival of photographs of two of them. They have also started to put hypotheses and predictions about how gas behaves near supermassive black holes to the test using the new data. Although this mechanism is still not completely understood, it is believed to be crucial in determining how galaxies originate and develop. Now that we can compare these two supermassive black holes, 
we can learn significant new information about how this crucial process operates. We can test how gravity operates in these extreme conditions much more thoroughly than ever before, because we have photographs of two black holes, one at the big end and one at the tiny end of supermassive black holes in the universe. Astronomers have found signs of a hot spot orbiting Sagittarius A using Ulmer, a radio telescope co-owned by the European Southern Observatory. The discovery helps in our understanding of the mysterious and dynamic surroundings of our supermassive black hole. The hot bubble of gas that is thought to be orbiting Sagittarius A has an orbit that is equivalent in size to that of the planet Mercury and completes a full rotation in just around 70 minutes. This calls for a staggering velocity of almost 30% of the speed of light. By coincidence, some of the observations were made just after the Chandra X-ray Observatory of NASA saw an X-ray flare or burst coming from the core of our galaxy. These flares, which have been previously seen with X-ray and infrared telescopes, are likely to be connected to hot gas bubbles known as hot spots that orbit the black hole extremely fast. The fact that these flares were previously only plainly visible in X-ray and infrared views of Sagittarius A is what makes them so unique and intriguing. Here we find a very strong indication for the first time that orbiting hot spots are also visible in radio observations. The hot spot should dim and brighten as it orbits the black hole, according to the scientists who made the discovery, as seen in this animation. Perhaps the hot spots seen at infrared wavelengths are a manifestation of the same physical process, which is that hot spots that produce infrared light cool down and become visible at longer wavelengths, as those seen by Ulmer and the EHG. The latest results are consistent with the long-held theory that the flares are caused by magnetic interactions in the very hot plasma circling extremely near to Sagittarius A. Now, we have definite evidence that these flares have magnetic origins, and our observations help us understand the geometry of the process. The new information is very valuable for developing a theoretical explanation for these phenomena. Astronomers may examine Sagittarius A's radio emission using Ulmer, which reveals the magnetic field of the black hole. To understand more about the creation of the hot spot and the environment it is entangled in, particularly the magnetic field around Sagittarius A, the team utilized these data in conjunction with theoretical models. Their work helps astronomers understand the characteristics of our black hole and its environs by offering tighter restrictions than earlier measurements on the form of this magnetic field. The position of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy, as well as the Ulmer's view of the Milky Way, are shown in this picture. The infrared data from the gravity instrument at ESO's very large telescope support some of the earlier findings. The data from gravity and Ulmer both indicate that the flare originates in a mass of gas that is orbiting the black hole almost face-on and moving at a speed of around 30% of the speed of light in a clockwise direction. The accomplishment of such an endeavor would be a true milestone for our comprehension of the physics of flares in the galactic center, according to the authors. In the future, we should be able to track hot spots across frequencies using coordinated multi-wavelength observations with both gravity and ulma, they write. In order to go closer to the black hole and understand more about it, the team is also aiming to be able to directly see the orbiting gas clumps using the EHG. Perhaps one day we will feel confident in claiming to know what is happening in Sagittarius A. Thank you for watching. Do us a favor, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.